I woke up at 3.30 this morning in Oregon. It's 8.30 p.m. and I'm in Puebla, Mexico. <coughs> I'm about to go out and look for some tacos on the street. It's kind of drizzly and rainy, so let's go check out Puebla, Mexico. Nice artwork. Zomboy. And here we are. Nice little coffee shop right there. I'd have to check that out in the morning. They have complimentary coffee at the hotel, but it's a Nest Cafe or Sanka or something like that. I don't think I will be doing drinking too much of that. Buildings here. Bitchin' colonial scene. A little hot dog shack. Nice. Just wanna eat everything. I gotta watch my stomach. I've been watching my figure lately. Lost 15 pounds over the last 60 days, maybe a little bit more. My clothes were all way too tight, so I just uh, took care of that. Reduced my calorie intake. Didn't exercise or anything. Now I'm back down to my old fashioned weight when I was younger, but I've been avoiding bread and too many carbs. It's pretty, look at this town. Of churches around here, and here's one of them. Isn't that bitching? Uh oh, it's the policia. It's the policia. Pretty much cops everywhere around here. I mean, everywhere. There'll be like three or four or six cop cars in the middle of the highway pulling people over, just randomly checking them. Cops hanging out with machine guns. Cops hanging out without guns. Wow. The bakery smells good. I probably will have to have some cookies at some point. Not the garishly sweet ones, but possibly, you know, the, the shortbread ones. The more mildly flavored ones. Calle de las Cruces, Cuatro Oriente. I think this might be where Jan and I stayed 29 years ago in March of 1994. You have to verify it, but I think it's one of these buildings here. La 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 la. I am looking for a taco place that the concierge recommended to me called Taqueria Los Angeles. Some other art here too. Not too bad. There we go, up on the balcony there. Aromatherapy by Connie Bogart. What a name. <coughs> Don't Bogart those herbs, my friend. There's a sign for Esplendor del Barro. Clay Splendor. 
Huh. Maybe it's a, an art show. There's a beauty. Se renta. Rento. So somebody's renting it personally. Rento. Not se renta, which means for rent. But this one is straight up rento. It's a nice building though. And there's the phone number if you're interested in renting that beautiful colonial building. This is where the splendor of clay is. San Pedro Museo de Arte. Here's a cool art wall. Let's go see who's on it. Not sure which way the traffic goes. Don't want to get whacked. That's a good place. Los Vampiros Emparedados. I don't know what that is. I know vampiros are juices that have beet juice in them, but I'm not sure what these ones are. There's a little baby, there's big smalls for the win. I've seen this one all around town since I took my taxi in from the bus station. Wednesday Adams, tricked out. Some bitchin' pictures. Is that fine, gentlemen? Is that Pablo? Pablo Larios. Puebla, 1944. Huh. I'll have to look him up. See what he did. Ah, pretty cool stuff. Some good street art. Fucking slapping up the posters. Some good old wheat paste. I'm not sure how the traffic is here, if it's all squirrely like Albania, so careful until I get the ritmo de la noche. We're coming up on another church tower of some sort. The ambient noise here is pretty extreme. There's an enterprising gentleman. Bitchin' little cart there, man. I dig that. Ah. Fonda la compañía. Huh. That would be good. Atentar. Desde los códigos. What could that be? Looks like an official building. Looks like an official building. The Museo Urbano Interactivo. Interactive Urban Museum. Huh. Not sure what that means, but I'd have to check it out too. There's a modern building, not so pretty. Not modern, but looks like it was from the 60s. Not very lovely. Some Puebla youth. Running to their next appointment. Look at those buttresses on that church. Holy moly. Well buttressed. House of the Lord. Crepe restaurant there. Creperia. There's Palo Fox and Mendoza Street that we're on right now. I think it's one of the main streets here. Is this? 
German cafe. As I say, I am Stieglitz Cafe. Deutschland Uber Alice. Pretty nice, huh? There's a Volkswagen. Come on in, bienvenido, welcome in Stiglitz Cafe. Enticing, but I must continue. They're having a little thing over there. It says, Buap Violadora Mexico Feminicida. Sounds political. And I know nothing about the politics this locale. I know that Buap is the, one of the universities here. It stands for Benemerita Universidad something Puebla. Autónoma, I think. Ben, ben, Benemerita Universidad Autónoma de Puebla. Buap. So is Buap a violator? I think I'm getting close to the Zocalo. The Loco Zoco. Locolo Zocalo. There's some Pizza Hut and KFC. Wind up for the wind, same building. Hotel Nogada. It's a nice hotel. As much as balcony rooms sound appealing, pretty loud, I might prefer a courtyard room if I were staying there. the chains I've been seeing around since uh, Mexico City driving through the city was this one the Italian coffee company and also Starbucks fair amount of Starbucks here we are on the Zocalo uh, 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 uh. there's got to be some songs written about it already I'm a Locolo I hang on the Zocalo Oh, 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 oh. That's a nice building, huh? Also, I'm filming in log format. Logarithm. There's a little beggar lady. Mama. I can't start kicking down loot just quite yet. Turn down my first beggar. I'm sorry. The traditional Cocina Poblana is a little touristy. It's not bad though. I think on the Zocalo also is a chocolate and coffee shop. That might be just a little uh, suffocating, as they say, agobiante, having half a dozen waiters ready to pounce at your every need. It's all right. Oh, thank you. It's the Italy lounge. Look at that. It's the beautiful church. Oh, that's the Policia Municipal. It's a little bit bonkers. Not sure if people go into the 
fucking Zocalo in the nighttime. Looks a little understaffed. And sometimes creepy people take advantage of the shady places. This is a very long video. I don't know how much juice it takes because I'm shooting in 4K, 24 frames per second. But I think what I'll do is just take this greasy, messy, fucking monologue and I will upload it to the tube. There's a nice little place there, look at that. It's like a colonial berry land here. But here, let's take a peek back at the Zocalo. Palm trees, pretty, pretty. Nice. A lot of cops around, so I think that probably accounts for the lack of begging folk. Cuidado con el perro, says the sign. Careful with the dog. Lots of balloons there. It's a magical night for someone. And it will be when they buy those bitchin' motherfuckers. I think I just saw a Puebla Antifa. Unless he's just a rocker. He looks pretty tough. I wonder if it's possible that he holds umbrellas in front of cameras when they're doing direct actions. Woolworth. I'm going to go back up to Calle Ocho because that's where the taquerias were. I don't want to eat on the Zocalo. It's a little too fancy britches for me. I just want to belly up to a greasy little stand. Got all the tiles on these buildings here. It's absurdly wonderful. Oh, okay, Mable. This is Calle Cinco de Mayo. Yes, that Cinco de Mayo. Puebla is the city for which we owe, to which we owe thanks for Cinco de Mayo. And I'm not going to explain why, so you have to look it up yourself. Uh oh. Puppy fight. Puppy's fighting. All right, this is it. Barf all over it or hit the like and subscribe if you loved it.